Okay, hey guys, what's up? The pink tape is right around the corner. It is apparently dropping at the end of the month. At least that's what Uzi said. And I'm super hyped and super excited for this album because firstly I'm a huge Uzi fan and secondly I also have a song with Uzi that I produced together with Brandon and Leon. Um, huge shout outs to Leon um, especially. And um, yeah, today I'm gonna show y'all um, how to make the Uzi Word type beats for the pink tape or at least I'm gonna show you like, um, the beat that I think could fit on the album and in the first part of this video I'm gonna give you all some footage of me cooking up some inspirational and motivational footage and then in the second part I'm gonna break down the beat that I make right now um, yeah, and show you everything that I do like every preset, the sample, the drums, um, literally everything and um, if you like, want to skip to that part, I'm going to leave um, a timestamp in the description down below so that y'all can yeah, skip to whatever part you want to see. Um, and yeah, with that being said, uh, like, subscribe, comment um, on what y'all want to see next and like, give me some feedback that I can improve, what I can do better, or if you like the video, um, yeah, just like, subscribe, comment, and Let's jump in to the cookout. Okay, so now let's get into the second part of this video. I'm gonna break down the beat or the loop that I just made. So right here you can see the project file. I exported all the sounds because otherwise uh, my laptop would just crash. First, let's start with the Electra X sound. Um, that is from my own sound kit from the uh, um, Keys to Paradise Electra X bank. It's the plug Anthem right here. And I laid down this pattern in the piano roll. Um, it is just a pretty basic chord progression right here. Goes down from the G minor, um, F minor, um, F major, and D sharp major. To connect them, I also laid down some melody. That would be the A sharp right here, and this little thing over here, and also these um, little connecting notes. Um, to just 
make it seem more fluent and um, add a bit more uh, melody to these chords because otherwise it would be too boring. And then um, I also added these bass notes down here. Those are just the uh, root notes from the chords, um, a whole octave down, um, and that's pretty much it. I made this pattern for the first um, part and then I just duplicated it over four, um, three times. So I have um, this first melody four times in a row. That's just uh, to make it simpler for the listener to like get the melody and it's also like it's always pretty good to uh, make the melody um, super repetitive especially in Uzi songs the melodies are pretty repetitive because then um, they are catchy and they are easy to listen to and the listener can like get the vibe and get the melody pretty easily okay and as I said the sound is from my Electra X bank you can get it um, down in the description it's um, from my Keys to Paradise sound kit. It's an Electra X bank with a whole lot of sounds. Um, you can see it right here. After that, I added this uh, synth right here from Dune. It sounds like this. Yeah, pretty dope. And um, this is from. Uh, bass gutters ambient sounds kit and it's the Beethoven stroke and it's just the same melody or the same pattern um, just copied over and layered on top of the original electric sound that's what uh, the electric sounds sounds like and then together it sounds like this And then I did this whole thing again with another Dune sound uh, that sounds like this. Yeah, it's from the same bank, um, just another sound. It's a legacy synth from the same um, bass gutter kit and it's the same pattern as well. Um, then afterwards I added uh, these strings right here. Yeah, that's just to like make it sound more anthemic and like give it this uh, kind of glow vibe as well. And all together it sounds like this. And then I added this brass sound that just follows the root notes of the chords. That just adds a lot of like a low end and makes it sound even more anthemic. And then um, to finish it up uh, for the main part of the melody, I added this bell that uh, should never, sh you should never miss the bell <laughs> to make it complete. Yeah, just a normal church bell and um, yeah that just completes the whole anthemic vibe and um, finishes up um, the whole melody pretty much so this is what it sounds like all together yeah uh, it just sounds very full very anthemic um, like it sounds very hyped as well and that's um, what I think the, the pink tape like from the snippets that I heard pink tape could be there like that um, and yeah just to finish up the whole sample um, I added uh, this lead sound right here again a very simple pattern just to make it really repetitive and easy for the listener to get the melody and to like just be in the crowd and uh, go crazy at the concerts because that's um, the main reason or the main purpose for these kind of beats and songs. Um, this is the lead sound from um, Shark Boys and Leon's Kids and the Oxygen Omnisphere Bank, the Enigma sound. And then this um, lead just finishes up the whole melody and this is what it sounds like all together. <laughs> Yeah.
Yeah, and then um, to finish up this sample, this loop, I arranged it in this way. So uh, you have an intro part where I don't like play all the instruments. It's just like to keep it uh, like a bit low key and to yeah to ease the way into the um, hook. This is the hook part. So there's an A part and a B part, um, and then in the B part there is going to be like the lead again, um, just to yeah. This is like the, the, the climax of the whole song, the B part of the hook. That should be like the, be the the best part. And then it goes into the verse. So these two parts here are the verse. It um, goes down from the climax again. I took out a lot of the sounds and it's like very thin again. Like the, the energy goes down from this um, part into the verse. Yeah, the energy really goes down and then it goes up again um, in the second part of the verse. And then you just copy it over again. So the intro at the beginning would be the bridge into the um, second hook. Um, and then it fits just perfectly. Um, and then the way I arrange all my samples, I add the stems at the end. So when I send them out, everyone like all the producers can just uh, mess around and flip them and switch them and they don't have to stick what to what i had got going on in the sample they can just like take out all the ind individual sounds and like arrange the, the loop how they want it to sound like um yeah okay so now to the second part to the part with the drums um, this is the project for the like the finished beat. I always um, split up my project into the um, sample or the loop, the melody, and then um, I export it and put it in a new project with the like the exported loop right here. First thing I added um, was this 808 right here. You can listen to it um, ex uh, like solo. really simple um, 808 pattern just following the root notes of the chords that I uh, just showed you and now with the sample it sounds like this already um, a nice little bounce and then you add the clap to it like just a normal basic clap the key to these beats is to keep it uh, like very simple just for the listener to um, yeah um, don't don't be like overwhelmed with the beat and everything because the the reason for you to make these beats is um, that artists um, can use them right and if you overdo your beats and you uh, don't keep them simple um, then the artist like doesn't have any room to like rap over it or sing over it or do whatever they want with the beat pretty much so um, that's um, like that's why simplicity is key and you've heard it a million times before um, but I'm gonna say it as well <laughs> so um, yeah really and this loop is already like pretty full pretty emphatic and um, I wouldn't say complex but it has a lot of layers so um, when you have a loop like that where, where where the loop is already like very big and there's a lot going on and then you want to keep the drums as simple as possible um just to like not overdo it and then after the 808 and the clap i added this uh, snare right here um and it has like a little these little snare rolls right here yeah really dope um just adds a lot of bounce and it just keeps the beat going and everything so that's um yeah just a nice nice little thing for the rhythm and everything and then two-step hi-hat really basic as I said simplicity is key what I did with the hi-hats I added this um, effectrix right here on the hi-hats um, to reverse them at certain points and then an open hat as well um, the open hat plays very regularly um, I did that just to like mimic kind of a, a ride when you're playing the drums. That's basically basically a ride or like a, 
uh, crash and um, that just like keeps the beat going and it adds a lot of energy as well and um, i think in combination with the sample and um, yeah pretty much these snare rolls and the drums in general it uh, just adds a lot um, to the anthemic and just very like um, energetic vibe of this um, beat arrangement wise i already said um, when i explained that the loop so i did not i did not change anything so this is still the intro part of the loop and um, as you can see i just cut off um, the part where i um, had the stems so i just cut it off and then duplicated it um, so the intro turns into the bridge and then you have the hook over here like uh, this this part is the hook and then you have this part is the verse and then the intro from the beginning is turning into the bridge and then it goes over into the hook and this into the second hook second verse bridge again and then the last hook um over here and then for the drums um like when the drums come in they are pretty simple like just clap 808 hi-hat and i added this riser as well and, um, usually the the b part of the hook like this second part of the hook the climax of the song and um, so that's where the sample is very like full or the, the best part of the sample plays and also um, all the drums and the, the whole bounce and everything just plays in that part and then um, it goes down again um, into the verse and I did like this little break thing right here and then for the second part of the verse um, the drums play all together again and um, it go, the energy goes back up. And then you have this riser over here. And it builds up like the bridge and then the bridge comes and it builds up into the second hook again. And that's pretty much it um, for this beat. So as I said, um, the keys are um, I wanted to keep it um, like the drums I wanted to keep them very simple and um, very minimalistic because um, the sample already and the melody they are already like very complex or not complex but very full and they sound very anthemic and energetic and um, yeah that's just to not overdo it I wanted to keep the drums um, pretty simple but um, yeah I can definitely see the speed on the pink tape um, because it has this energetic vibe and this like anthemic feeling and everything um, and that's just um, like that's what I associate with Uzi so yeah if you like this video um, like comment subscribe and um, I'll see you guys in the next video <laughs>